What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and finally I'm making a brand new setup tour. So the last setup tour I think it was maybe one and a half years ago and a lot of things have changed. So I'm gonna create an awesome new setup tour, so I would say make sure to smash the like button down below and I would say let's get started. Yeah, yeah. Okay guys, so this is the setup that I'm currently using and I'm gonna run through everything that I'm using right here from my monitors to my keyboard to my headset to my microphone to even my computer to my studio lights, everything like that. So we're gonna start off with my computer and my PC is if I'm getting the cables out of the way. Everyone has been asking, what kind of computer are you using? Well, this is the Acer Predator G3605. It's a really, really powerful computer. It has 16 gigs of RAM. It came with A, but I just expanded this. It came with 8, I just upgraded this one to 16 just for rendering and I'm just using this PC. I think it's around $1,100, so that's really awesome and I know I have the PC open because of rendering my PC gets really hot and the plate is right here as you can see, the side panel. All the specs, you can find them in the description. So that's it for my computer, Acer Predator G3605. It has a i7-4790, I think, processor and a AMD Radeon r 9 graphics card so as you can see that one looks really cool it has a really nice rough look with the the predator logo as you can see right there and then the intel sticker is nothing too special okay so we're gonna move to from the left to the right as you can see my pc is currently updating it is constantly switching on and off it is updating windows 10 so it takes a lot of time so i thought in the meantime let's just make a really quick setup tour so i'm gonna start off with the speakers if i'm getting my drinks out of the way okay so we're gonna start off by my with my speakers those are the hercules dj monitor 5 i think they're around 200 dollars a piece and obviously I have two of them the other one is right there so and my PC is restarting as you can see Acer then we're gonna move on to my keyboard this is the Rocat MK the Ryo, Ryos MK Glow. It's a really awesome keyboard. I think it's around $150. It has some really nice lighting, as you can see, and I, that's what I really like about this keyboard, especially at night. Then we're gonna move to my mouse. This is the Rocat Cone Pure Polar Blue mouse. As you can see right now, it is a really, really high-end mouse. Also Rocat, I'm a really big Rocat fan, and I think this mouse was around $80. Pretty expensive, but this is just so comfortable to edit to game. It is just a really awesome, awesome mouse. Now we're gonna move up to my headphones. I just got this one a few months ago and this is the Bayer Dynamic DT, if it wants to focus on this, DT990 Pro. So this one is, I think, 140 bucks. Nothing too expensive, but really, really awesome audio. And right here, this is my white DualShock controller for, for gaming because I just connect this one with Bluetooth to my computer. So I'm just gaming with GTA, Rocket League, anything else like that so this is what I use to game on I don't have a ps4 but my girlfriend has one but I just have this uh, controller to game it with on my computer on the very right we have the other one as you can see there that's that's the first one this is the second one nothing too special the DJ monitor 5 now we're gonna move up to my monitors those are both 23.6 inches or 24 inches monitors this is my second monitor that's why I used to you know put up tweet deck and you know put up videos and anything like that so I'm just using for my second monitor, I'm just using the ProLite E2480HS. So that's a really awesome, awesome monitor. And I'm thinking to upgrade to three monitors, but I don't really have the space, as you can see, because my table is already filled with some awesome Vruchtehagel and obviously my printer. So there's not really much room to put a third monitor because I think if I'm going to upgrade to three monitors, I'm going to swap out this table and get a really big one one and a new one and then I'll be upgrading to three monitors okay and everyone has been asking as well what I'm using for a webcams all right guys so for live streaming everyone has been asking this because I'm not using this Canon G7X camera for live streaming I'm using this awesome Logitech C920 I think it's around 80 or 90 dollars it is a nice 1080p webcam and that's what I use to stream and you know not record anymore I used to record my videos with this one I just connect that one to uh, OBS but I'm just using the Canon G7X the camera I'm using right now 
as my primary camera and in order to have awesome uh, footage I need a tripod so this tripod is just right behind my monitor uh, setting right here and if I put down a camera like this I think you guys are seeing so you guys are obviously used to see this uh, screen obviously with the deep web or a Vegas Pro and that's what I use as well I just use this tripod right here this one and I just set it down like this and that's how I record basically and that's a really awesome thing that I used to use my tripod okay so moving on to my microphone this is the same that I used in, in last year's setup uh, I'm just gonna start off with the microphone and then with the arm so this is the microphone I'm using right now with a uh, pop filter so this is the the Samsung CO1U Pro. It's a really, really high-end microphone and a really clear one. And I'm using a Samsung uh, shock mount as well. I think those two are just paired, so you just uh, screw this guy in. And then I just have this brandless foamy thing that I just put on my microphone like so. I just slide it on. And I have this uh, microphone hanging on this arm, as you can see. It just is hanging right there. So anytime I want to record, I'm just dragging this arm right here. And that's how I do it. So this is the Rode PSA1, if I'm correct. As you can see right here, it says the little Rode sticker. So this is the Rode PSA1, and it is a really awesome uh, boom arm. I can just move this microphone wherever the hell I want. And as you can see, it just st stands straight up, and I can just move it around wherever the hell I want. So that's a really awesome thing, and that's what I use to, uh, to, to hang my microphone on. If I'm not using it, I'm just putting it down like this. So moving on to this new gadget. This is basically my new uh, wheel. This is the Logitech G. 29. I think this one is around $350. It turns around 900 degrees and that's basically what you use to, you know, play racing games, Euro Truck Simulator, anything like that. And then it's just a really awesome thing. You just connect it to your computer through USB. That's why all those cables are here. That's because of the, of the steering wheel. And then right next to it, I have this awesome Logitech shifter. It's, it's a really cool thing. It just works the same like a real car. As you can see, this is first gear, second gear, uh, third gear, fourth gear fifth gear and sixth gear and if you go to neutral it works the same as a real car so that's really awesome this one is around 40 to 50 bucks and those work together really really well and then obviously you will get those pedals delivered with the logitech wheel it is just uh, a regular uh, pedal board you have the right you have the gas the brake and the clutch really simple it just came with the steering wheel and that's pretty obvious so I think I covered most everything this is just my 40 inch TV that's why I used to uh, play Euro truck simulator like this as you can see I'm just playing just like that and that's a really awesome thing I just connect this uh, big TV to my computer through an HDMI cable this is basically the cable that I use to record that goes down to my computer and that is basically what I'm currently currently using as my setup. Okay, as you can see, Windows is still freaking updating. As you can see, it's, it, it is in Dutch, but it's around 80% done. So I think it's going to be finished in, about, in maybe 10 minutes. And basically what I use to record and edit is really simple. I used to record uh, this camera for my face cam, the Canon G7X. I use OBS as recording and I use Vegas Pro 15 for video editing. And I record myself through this microphone with Audacity. So that's basically what I've been using guys I have my speakers my keyboard something else I haven't showed you guys yet are my, are my mouse pads now those mouse pads are pretty pretty big as you can see if I compare it like this so this mouse pad is the rocket hero and this mouse pad is around 50 dollars uh, or 50 euros is a pretty expensive one but it's just a really really awesome high-end surface it's a little bit broke because I washed this out because it has a lot of stains on it from using it so I just washed this out this corner got loose I might just you know put some glue and then you know it's fixed but if I put my keyboard on it like like so that I always do nobody will ever notice it so and then the next mouse pad I have right here is the Roket Sense this is just a Comet version and I don't know I just like a huge surface where I can put down my stuff put down my controller uh, put down my headset my deep web glasses and even my, you know my drink as you can see it is just a really awesome surface 
and that's basically what I use. Mouse pads, that's what I that's what I basically use for gaming. And I think I had everything. I had the monitors, I had my steering wheel. This one is I think maybe six months old. So I didn't have this one when I did uh, the last setup tour, uh, I think last year. Nothing too special guys. I have a Minecraft torch laying around right here because I don't know. You know, I just it fell off of it fell off the wall. So the the Minecraft sword is still hanging there, just like last video. And this is just my regular iPad too. And as you can see right here, if I move up, this is obviously my big pride and joy, my silver play button I received back in May uh, for reaching 100,000 subscribers. I'm so thankful, and this is basically all thanks to you guys. So that's it for my setup, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will try to leave most of the specs in the description. So that's it. That's all I have for you guys today and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video as always and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Just Alex Halford.